So this morning I'm going to run through something to help me gain the range of movements before I go surfing in a little while. Uh, so I've got up and quite stiff as usual in the morning, sore back, sore hips, um, sore shoulders, everything pretty much is, uh, is a bit sore. So I'm going to try and uh, run through my um, warm-up sequence quite quickly. I'll run through a quick um, sun salutations to get me going and then I'm just going to run through one thing to open my uh, hip flexors and one thing to open my hips, the sequence on both sides. So I'm going to run through that quickly. Uh, we have a building site one side of us, a lot of noise in the house so I hope you can hear what we, what's going on. But uh, I'm just going to start off down on the mat as usual. I'm going to drop down into child's pose and try and open the back a little bit, open the vertebrae, uh, round in the back there. That opens all the little spaces here in the back. I'm just sinking into that, trying to put the forehead down. And this is about rounding the back, trying to open out the muscles in here, uh, kind of supporting the back when we're standing. So opening these out here, dropping down, breathe into that. We're all from side to side, start to come into the hip a little bit on each side. You feel the pressure in there, uh, the compression as you're squeezing forwards, use that. Use gravity, just drop into the hip a little bit more either side. Breathe into that. And then we're going to reach forwards and we're going to go into <coughs> taking the spine the other way now. So we're coming up, pushing the hips back and dropping the chest, dropping the spine, rolling it the other way. Again, moving from side to side and just opening the hip joint a little bit. Spread your fingers nice and wide, get a strong grip into the mat and roll the arms outwards. External rotation. Breathe into that. I'm going to drop back down now. I'm going to use the arms out the front there to open the shoulders a little bit, pushing down into the chest, pushing down into child's pose again, but with the arms forward. Breathe into that. And coming up again, I'm going to drop the chest again, roll the back the other way, and then I'm going to roll it out the other way again. I'm going to come into the shoulders here. Trying to open everything out and rocking from side to side, breathe into that. I'm going to go onto the toes and come into high plank. Feeling it in the wrists a little bit now, roll the arms outwards, roll the arms inwards, hold the plank. I'm going to drop the knees and I'm going to go down to the mat using the arms and dropping down onto my chest. I'm going to bring the arms forward, forearms to Bhujangasana, our sphinx pose here. Rock from side to side, come into the back a little bit. A back bend early on, just keeping everything nice and light. Breathe into that. Pull forward into the upper back as much as you can. And then we're going to come back down, engage the hands, spread the fingers nice and wide, engage the toes. If you can, just push straight up, otherwise use the knees. High plank. Drop the knees and we'll come back into child's pose. Coming forward again, I'm going to bring the hands forwards now. I'm going to push forwards and down with the chest, opening the shoulders, stretching into the armpits. The deltoids on the top again, activated here, try and relax them. Pushing back forwards, pushing back <coughs> all fours. Engage the hands, coming into high plank. And we're going to push back into Downward Facing Dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Try and drop the heels as much as you can. Straighten the legs as much as you can. Straight line from the hip to the hand. Spread the fingers wide. Breathe into that. Push back. Breathe in too. Just rock from side to side. Feel the <coughs> whole opening of the body here. Breathe in three. Come onto the toes, bend the knees, and we're going to step forward, coming up. Adottanasana, breathe in, spine's parallel to the floor, extend, feel the right angle in the hip there, and drop the chest round the back, open the spine, and then bend the legs and roll up through the spine, coming all the way, take the energy to the fingertips, from the feet, <coughs> and drop the hands. 
Here we go quickly through the Surya Namaskara A. Breathing in. Take the energy up. And fall forward. Try and keep the back straight for as long as you can. Hands towards the mat. Breathe in, extend. Try and breathe out, step back, high plank. Low plank, Shantaranga. Roll forward and up. Ardha Mukha Svanasana. Pull forward into the upper chest. Push down, push back. Strengthening the arms, Ardha Mukha Svanasana, downward facing back. Stay here for five breaths. Breathe in one. Really feel the pose. Breathe in two. Extend through the arms from the fingers. Breathe in three. Strengthen the posture. Breathe in four. Feel the energy from the feet. And breathe in five. Come under the toes, breathe in. And breathe out, bend the legs. Breathe in, step forward, extend the spine. And breathe out, sink forwards. Breathe in, roll up. Arms to the sky, take the energy upwards. And breathe out, hands to the side. You can do another one or two of those if you want. I'm going to scroll through now to Surya Namaskara B. Breathe in. And breathe out, coming down, pushing the knees together. Utkatasana. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in, extend. And breathe out, step back. High plank. Low plank, Shatranga. Adamukasvanasana. Shatranga. Adamukasvanasana. I'm going to lift the right leg. Head into warrior pose here. Step forward, set the feet. Hips are pointing forward, feet are hip width apart. Come up, sink into that. Give me five breaths here, so take a little bit of time to adjust the pose. Strengthen the back leg, strengthen the back foot. Breathe in, come up. Let's get energy towards the sky from the back foot, through the spine. Look up. Breathe in one. Breathe in two. Breathe in three. Always make a little distance to the hip, to the strength in the pose. Breathe in four. Breathe in five. Come there, hands back down to the mat. Breathe there, high plank. Straight down, Shataranga. Roll forward and up. Back down, push back. Adam Wasanasana for three breaths here. Breathe in one. Breathe in two, and breathe in three. Next side, through the back leg, and step forward, head into warrior. Set the feet, come up, settle the hips facing forwards, push into the back foot, breathe in. Take the energy from the back foot all the way to the hands, through the spine. Breathe in one, breathe in two, Breathe in three. Breathe in four. Breathe in five. Hands all the way down to the mat. Breathe out into high plank and down Chaturanga. Roll forwards and up. Oh, the Mukha Svanasana. Oh, the Mukha Svanasana. For three breaths. The dog's killing someone outside. Breathe in one. Breathe in two. And breathe in three. Quick rotation on the right. Breathe in. Extend the back leg. Step forward. Set the pose straight away. This time and straight up for one breath. Fill the pose. And breathe out all the way down. Shataranga. Roll forwards and up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, lift the left leg, and step forward, set the stance, straight up, breathe in, feel the energy, fill the pose, all the way down, 
I plan to finish up around here and roll up. Down. Don't push back and we'll take five breaths here. Breathe in one. And breathe in two. And breathe in three. Breathe in four, going down. Breathe in five. Onto the toes, breathe in, then the legs. Breathe in, step forward, extend the spine. And breathe out, Uttanasana. Bend the legs, push the knees together, strengthen. Come up through the knees, extend the spine. Breathe in, Utkatasana. Hold. One. Two. And three, sink down, up, and out. Breathe in, roll the shoulders, stretch the head to the left, drop in the right shoulder, do that to the right, drop the left shoulder. Breathe into that. Feet hip width apart, breathe in up, take hold of the right hand in the left wrist, the left, right wrist in the left hand, extend the cross, breathe in. And change hands the other side. Extend upwards and back. Push the chest towards the sky. Hips slightly forwards. Up. And now we're going to go down into a squat, go as far as you can. Keeping the back straight. And then roll the back forwards. Keep the knees parallel. Feet parallel, push forwards and down. Come back to the centre. Straighten the legs and go down. Badmangastasana. Take hold of the big toes and fall forwards. Breathe into that and then we're going to come out with it. Parastasana, with the palms underneath the feet, and breathe into that. Really pull up on the thighs, thighs going up in towards the hips, the chest coming down, pull the head towards the shins. Release from that, bend the legs a little bit, hands to the hips, I'm just going to roll up, hands to the knees, straighten the back. Utkatasana with a wide stance, take the hands up, and finish. Okay, we're going to scroll through to <coughs> opening the hip flexors now, and take that into a balance with Warrior 3. So on this section, the hips are going to be facing the front of the mat, so be aware of that. In Warrior Pose, we're looking to bring the hip back. So if we had headlights on the hip bones and they'd be shining towards the front of the mat. Okay, and that's the difference between this sequence here and the next sequence where everything will be towards the side of the mat. <coughs> so we'll start here. Tadasana. Breathe in, extend, get the energy upwards from the feet. Fall forward, hands to the mat. Extend forward, Adho Tadasana. And step back, high plank. Low plank, roll forwards and up. Bring this bend into the upper back if you can. Roll down and push back. Lift the right leg. And we're going to step forwards into a warrior stance. From here, come up, hands to the hips. Breathe in. Straighten the front leg. Bring the hips round towards the front of the mat. Breathe out. Take the front thigh down parallel to the mat. Pull back in the front hip, push forward with the back hip. Breathe in, breathe out, strengthen the back leg, push into the back foot, bring the shoulders back over the hip. Push from the back foot through the straight leg, up through the spine, and out the top, through to the hands. Breathe in one. Adjust the position here. Breathe in two, 
push down into that. Feel the difference between having the hip rotated and the, ribs, the hip square. Breathe in three. Breathe in four. Breathe in five. From there, hands to the hip. I'm going to go onto the back toe. High lunge. Keep the weight towards the back heel. Strengthen the back leg. Sing down. Lift the hands. Push on the back foot. And the back front foot now. Straight up and through the middle. Breathe in one. Lengthen the spine. Breathe in two. And breathe in three. Breathe in four. And I'll breathe in five. I'm going to go down, taking the back knee down to the mat. Classic low lunge. Hands back to the hip. Push forwards. Drop into there and bring the hip back. Front hip back. Back hip forwards. Square to the front of the mat. Open the hips there. Feel the hip flexor working. Breathe in one. Breathe in two. Breathe in three. Breathe in four. And breathe in five. And there bring the hands to the hips. And you just adjust back a little bit because I'm going to run out of room. And there you're going to drive forwards over the weight over the front foot. Go to the back toe. Come up. And we're going to go forward and into warrior three. One, two, three, four, and five. And we're feeling the familiar crease in the hip here as we come out of that. And back to Tadasana. Okay, we're going to go through the other side now. Breathe in. Extend up. Breathe out. Fall forwards. Lado Tanasana, halfway. <coughs> and step back. Low, low, low plank. Chaturanga up. Pull the arch into the upper back as you can. Back down, strengthen the arms, push back. And lift the left leg. Breathe in, and then breathe out, step forward. So the same thing now, the other side, strain the front leg, bring the hips round. Strengthen the back leg, keep it flat to the ground, strengthen the back foot, sorry, flat to the ground, strengthen the back leg straight. Sink into the front thigh, keep the weight over the middle, bring the shoulders back to engage the back foot. Feel the difference again between having the hips at 45 degrees and bringing them round the front of the mat, engaging the back. Breathe in, extend. One, two, three, four, and five. From there, hands to the hips, roll to the back toes. Classic high lunge, sink into that, push back into the heel. Strengthen, breathe in. Extend. One, two, three, four, and five. So we're feeling here, the opening here, the pulling back here, and the lengthening through the spine. Hands to the hips, drop the back knee. Point the back toes and drop into low lunge. Opening more here. Keep the upper body engaged, pointing upwards, opening the chest. Sink into this crease here. Breathe in one. Breathe in two. Breathe in three. Breathe in four. And breathe in five. Okay, coming back. I'm going to move back a little bit again. Engage the back toes, come onto the front foot, take the hands to prayer position and extend into warrior three, strengthening the standing leg, bring the hips parallel to the floor. One, two, three, four, 
and five. Come forwards and back to the start. Extend it upwards and just take a moment there to breathe. Relax, feel the body, feel the energy flowing there. You should feel a little bit warmer. Take a moment. If you want to forward bend here, you can take the arms, the elbows and the hands. And just relax the back. Go into the hamstrings a little bit. Okay, so we're going to do the same now. Powering through the side of the body. Okay, just to save a bit of time, we're going to go to a wide stance here, parallel feet. From there, we're just going to fall forward, get used to the stance. Extend the spine, hand drop. Use gravity and rock from side to side, breathe there. Extend and sink. Come up. And to the left. So leave the hips to the side this time. Warrior two. So we're facing to the side, opening the hips as much as we can. Breathe there. One. Rotate the thighs outwards. Two. Three. Feel the reason for standing like this. Opening with the hips there. Four. And five. We're going to straighten the front leg. We're going to go into Trikonasana. So push forwards, keep that hip open. Again, think of the reason we are doing this posture, not just for an Instagram post, but for the range of movements that it's given us. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, I'm going to drop. I'm going to come out of that up here. I'm going to go to as well can ask about. Same opening of the hip going forwards here. Take the hand either to the floor or the elbow to the knee and extend. Open the chest, open the hip again. We're pushing outwards here with the front arm. So we'll take the hand to the inside of the foot today. Open and rotate the chest. One, two, Three, four, and five. And we're going to go into another balance here. So I'm just going to move back a little bit. So from there, take the hand forward. And we're coming up to Shandrasana. Again, try and open the hip. Open the arm. Open the side of the body. One, two, three. Four and five. Again, we're going to go back to the wide leg parallel stance. Let's shake out our left hip. And then we're going to go to the other side. So we'll start off with the forward bend again. To release the hips, open the back, extend the spine, forward bend. Breathe here a second. Rock from side to side, get the body prepared. And come up. Okay, so we're going to go here over asana two. Open the hips, open the thighs, parallel to the side of the mat, extend the arms, breathe in one. Breathe in two, work into the hip there. Breathe in three, the heels should be aligned. Breathe in four. And breathe in five. Pulling back up, push forwards, Trikonasana, keeping the back hip open. Breathe in one. Breathe in two. Breathe in three. Breathe in four. And breathe in five. Come back up. Then the front leg, elbow. To the knee, extend. Vasvakanasana. We're going to take the hand down to the inside of the foot, pushing back into the knee there, into the shin, to open the hips a little bit more. 
Breathe in one, breathe in two, bring the chest round, breathe in three, breathe in four, and breathe in five. Okay, straightening the front leg, you know, to Chandrasana again. So again, forwards, take the balance, and breathe in one, breathe in two, breathe in three, breathe in four, and breathe in five. And back to the wide parallel stance. Again, roll that hip out. You might have felt better balance on one side or the other. So, something to work on. But not right now. We're racing through this. We're going to go into a wide squat here. Continue opening the hip, pushing out. Bring the feet as round as much as you can, but in line with the thighs. Take the hands to the inside there and sink down, push out. Drop from side to side, go as deep as you can. Keep the chest up. Five, come up, bring them in. We're going to go to a deeper squat. Elbows to the inside of the knees. Breathe in. And breathe out. Sinking down and bringing the hips down through the middle. Opening the knees. Full squat. Breathe in one. Breathe in two. Again, you can move from side to side a little bit. <coughs> the hip joints, the ball joints, so feel it rolling outwards as you move from side to side. Breathe in four. And breathe in five. Hands to the mat. Rotate. Come down towards the right leg. Towards the left leg. Come to the middle, come up, and hands to the centre. <coughs> give the legs a little shake, give the arms a little shake there. And uh, <coughs> I'm going to finish there. I feel warm, I feel ready for the day. I've got a little bit more range of movements. Now I've got to stiffen myself back up, all the muscles tight again in the surf. And then I'll need to do this again tomorrow. So that's where we're at. Hope that you uh, get something out of that quick session there. Quite short, but quite active. All about opening the hips. We've worked the shoulders a little bit as well. So we've worked the back. So you should be feeling pretty good to go and do the sports that you love to do. Have a good day.